from our New York studios and correspondents around the globe. Daily Mail TV. It was a gruesome. Jesse, I got to ask you, um, first of all, how are you guys getting all the content out with, you know, being, of course, quarantined? Your team is doing amazing. Yeah, they've done an amazing job. We got a lot of really, really talented people working over at Daily Mail TV. And as soon as this kind of all started hitting about three weeks, a month ago for us, um, you know, kind of in the TV industry in New York, we pivoted right away and we started sending people home and we have amazing people in our tech department. They were able to get everyone set up in their own apartments, in their own homes, um, you know, to do what they need to do, edit shows, put it together, get the voiceover work in, uh, get all the audio and the video together. And we're essentially assembling a fresh show each and every day at Daily Mail TV with a lot of people, most of our people working entirely remotely uh, from home. So kudos to everyone on Daily Mail TV to be able to do that. Yeah, and I got to give kudos to you guys because you guys did a, a little pivot because Daily Mail TV was kind of like a gossip a celebrity thing, but you guys really have taken on helping the community and getting out information in a lot of different ways. I think it's really important right now, especially when this information, as you mentioned, about COVID-19 and coronavirus is so important to people at home. I think it's it's figuring out what's being said, and then it's relaying that information to people at home in a time of crisis to help people survive this and to give them tips and pointers, because so many of us around this country right now are, are confused. We're learning more about this each and every day. Um, this is obviously unprecedented for so many of us. So, you know, really the bulk of our show over the last month or so, I'd say, is certainly it's coronavirus driven and it's helping inform people at home. Yeah, it's not just that. You also give some lightness in there, too, because you have been keeping up on some of the celebrities and how they've been in quarantine. And, and you yourself, I know, uh, I mean, you've been taking up cooking. How's that going? <laughs> Cooking's been good. You know, this has been an opportunity for me to get more involved and uh, acclimated with my kitchen. That used to just be really my fiance Emily's domain, but she's allowed me in for short, short bursts every single day. Maybe an omelet here or there, but you know what? Like, I, I know where the spatula is. So that's been a big bonus to all of this. So and let's talk about getting outside. I mean, I know they've been kind of restricting you all there in New York about getting outside. But I mean, how has it been? Have you had a chance to get outside here and there? You know, uh, Emily and I go for jogs. Um, and really, that's been really important for us, not just for our physical health right now. You know, I think one of the hard parts for a lot of people, certainly here in New York City, is no access to gyms. How can you work out? How can you stay fit? But I think for us, even just our mental health, being able to go outside, being able to go get on the river and go for a jog and wear masks and try to keep ourselves isolated as we're doing that, that's been really, really important for us. As you can imagine, and as you've seen, you know, New York City right now really is a ghost town. There's nobody outside. That's been really eerie, I think, for a lot of the residents here in Manhattan. But at the same time, it's still really important for us, even if it's just a couple of minutes every day, to get outside uh, and be responsible about it. But I think for our mental health, as much, of our, as, much as our physical health, that's been critical for us. So I'll tell you, you guys, again, uh, I can't say enough. You are right here on AZ TV at uh, 5 o'clock each day, keeping up to date with new stuff and everything, which we love that you're doing. Anything in particular we should be looking out for? I think today's show, you know, it'll be like as you mentioned, it'll be on at 5 and 5.30. We've got a lot going on with respect to the coronavirus, obviously. We talk a little bit about how it's impacting the agriculture and the farming industry as well. They're able to supply a lot of their produce um, to food banks and places to help feed the needless and the, uh, the, the people that need it and the homeless. But at the same time, there's a, um, there's a lower demand now in grocery stores for some of their produce. So this is affecting farmers all around the country. We talk about that. We also had a really bizarre incident here in New York City last night uh, on the Upper East Side. There were a bunch of motorcycles and ATVs driving down the empty roads, and they were even driving up on sidewalks. And they were endangering pedestrians. So we actually had people that actually caught video footage of this. Uh, and they tweeted out to the mayor and some of the authorities here to try to stop that. So there's a lot of strange stuff happening here in the city. And we talk about that as well. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Thanks for keeping up state. And then I do have one question for you. And I, and I kind of asked you off camera. But what are you doing to look so good? I mean, us guys, we need some tips here because, I, I mean, we need some tips. <laughs> Two things. The only thing I've got here is natural light in a window and then a ton of hair product. This hair is absolutely <laughs> out of control. Uh, barbershops is not essential business right now. My fiance has offered to cut my hair at least three times. Apparently, she went on YouTube last night and, and saw a do-it-yourself video, which she said wasn't very difficult. So I've gone ahead and I've hidden all of our scissors in the apartment 
so that she can't find them. I don't know what's going to happen, but this is all I got. Just a lot of goop right now. <laughs> all right, please, on the Daily Mail TV, please do a, a story on how women are trying to cut their men's hair and what's going on with that. You have to. That's a great story. <laughs> That's a good idea, absolutely. <laughs> so, all right. Jesse, thank you very much. Take care, guys. All right.